Today we're going to be talking about five desk accessories that are actually very budget friendly for you today that hopefully will improve your desk setup in some regards. If you guys already have all five of these then make sure to just go watch another video of mine. However, today I want to give you five genuinely budget friendly options as a lot of people talk about budget but what they really mean by that is hey here is $150 worth of an item and so on. So let's jump straight into this with what I think is probably the most budget friendly across the board, a mouse wrist rest. Now, the first thing that I'll mention is do not buy the ones that a lot of YouTubers will tell you to go buy, which are the ones that are like 30 pounds. It's ridiculous. Don't get one of those. Get one of the ones that are like six pounds. They're very cheap to buy, very easy. They're literally just a silicon based slidey wrist rest. That's it. Sits behind your mouse and just allows your wrist to sit up a little bit more, be a little bit more ergonomic and not hurt your wrist as much. I found that it really helped me for a long time when I'd sit there for ages. My left wrist would be fine on the keyboard as I already have a little pad for it anyway, but my right one would literally start to ache really badly. And then once I got this wrist rest, it completely stopped all the aching and now it only ever happens when I'm not using it so to be honest I call that a win overall for myself probably should go to the doctor to see what's going on however uh, yeah this this is not the video for that the next item is something that I found more value in recently and it's something that my girlfriend bought me very very recently for Christmas uh, she had her own and she decided to buy me one as I was using hers all the time and it's literally just a phone slash tablet uh, stand that's it Honestly, these things are very nicely priced, they're very cheap, and they work really well for me. I enjoy having my iPad just sat there either next to my MacBook, having it as an external display, or having it below my computer so I have it there and I can have a YouTube video on, for example, or I can have something like my live analytics all up on that. And I just think that it just works really well, sits perfectly at the correct height for me personally. Something that I think everyone can find value in in some regard. If you're just sitting there, let's say, and you're eating dinner at your desk, because some of us are like that. Some of us absolute heathens are like this. But you can decide just to put it on there, have it on a stand a little bit more higher up. Even though it's not eye height, it is very close to it. But talking about having something at eye height, let's talk about laptop stands. They are something that are required if you're someone who uses your laptop as your main source of anything and you don't have a monitor. For myself, I don't use one day to day purely because I've got my monitors. I can just set it up to one of those. And then if I'm at the desk, typically I will just sit on the bed instead when using my laptop. If I'm at the desk, I'll just use my PC or like I said, plug it into a monitor. But using a laptop stand will really help you with ergonomics. Like I mentioned earlier with the wrist rest, you want to have it as close to eye line as possible. So really, it'd be better if you could get it on, let's say, a little bit of a stand then have the laptop stand or have it on a monitor. Those two things are more better off for you. However, this is definitely the best next step. A notebook is next, and the ones that I'm going to be recommending are the avocado and spice ones. If you've seen this channel before or seen me talk about it on another channel, you'll know that I love these notebooks so much. This one here is completely different to what I use for the other ones. I'm not going to go into depth just yet of what this is for. This is something that I'm working on as a bigger project than the background. However, I've got an A4 one now, and as well as that, the basic A5 one that was for all of my creative ideas uh, that I've now completely used up entirely. Very much fulfilled by the fact that I did that for the first time. I finished a full notebook for the first time. But effectively, these notebooks are very, very high quality. The paper is absolutely amazing. If you're someone like me who nerds out on like the stationary sort of stuff, then these are some of the best notebooks at some of the best prices you're going to find. But no, all round, I do think everyone needs a notebook at their desk setup, purely because I think everyone needs a form of analog system in their life. Even if it's something, let's say, like having a journal, or if you want something to have your creative ideas that aren't on a computer. For myself, I have all of my YouTube ideas, everything, my YouTube schedule, all in a notebook instead of on, let's say, an Excel sheet or on Notion, purely because I find them more overwhelming to look at than using it on my notebook. Now, the last one that I'm going to mention is something that I think everyone can use, but if you're a MacBook user, we all know that you need these, which is a USB-C port adapter. This one here is an Anchor one, and I'll put it down in the description. This is the most expensive item on the list by quite a bit. This one is £50. You have a USB-C port on it to make up for this one right here. You've got two USBs, uh, you've got HDMI, a SD card, micro SD card, and an Ethernet port. All of these, perfect for whatever you need them for, and I use it for my MacBook pretty much all the time. However, if I'm not using it for my MacBook, I also use it on my PC as my PC doesn't have an SD card reader, which is very, very saddening for me. Uh, but it basically just means that every now and again, I have to plug this into the one USB-C port on the back of my PC. Honestly, I kind of wish I had more USB-C ports. It's definitely something I'll be keeping in mind for the next PC build. 
Now, with that all being said, though, that is the five accessories that I highly recommend to you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and do subscribe for more content. And everything that I mentioned will have links down below if you want to go check them out. They're affiliate links, so it will support the channel if you buy through those. However, don't feel as if you have to. If you want to search any of it up, go for it. But yeah, I upload weekly tech content and productivity content to this channel. And if you want to see other sort of stuff, let's say you're a gamer, then I've also got my XR channel where I make video essays and just nice fun videos about games. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.